stem cell therapy is something that has a lot of theoretical reasons to be potentially helpful in Alzheimer's disease. Stem cells have a number of effects on the body. What stem cells are, are early cells that can differentiate to become other types of cells in the body. But we believe that if we give stem cells that are taken from another individual and given to a person with Alzheimer's disease, they can also have a number of positive effects in that recipient. Those effects include a reduction of inflammation in the brain of people with Alzheimer's disease, and inflammation is a problem that we find pathologically in those patients. And also, we believe that giving stem cells from an external source into the body can help the body produce its own stem cells, which may result in the brain producing new brain cells. We're interested in, in treating Alzheimer's disease with stem cells because we believe that it can improve the pathology of Alzheimer's disease. It can help the brain um, uh, repair itself in a number of ways. But no one has ever given stem cells in multiple dosages, meaning that all of the stem cell studies have been one administration of cells given in a number of ways, and intravenously, given into the spinal fluid. What we're going to do is revolutionary and unique, but also no information is available yet about its effect. So our primary concern in this study is the safety of looking at multiple injections of stem cells. The study itself will have only 10 patients, and all of those patients will receive stem cells. Um, five of the set patients will receive stem cells at one dose, and the other five will receive stem cells at another dose. But each dosage will be administered every 13 weeks for one year. What we want to see is if there's any reaction to those cells given in multiple dosages that um, um, would be unanticipated. We know that stem cells do not produce an immunologic response, so that even though they are cells from somebody else, they are different than if you did a um, a transplant, a cell um, um, from another part of someone's body into a second person. Those kinds of um, um, events, like a kidney transplant or a bone marrow transplant or even a bone, I mean a blood um, transfusion, you have to match genetically, immunologically to make sure that there won't be a reaction. But with stem cells, there is no reaction immunologically. That information is based upon one injection of stem cells. So all of us can take one injection and tolerate it without an immunologic response. Now we're trying to see if multiple injections have any effect immunologically. The reason we're interested in the multiple injections is because Alzheimer's disease is a chronic disease. It goes on, it gets worse in time. So we believe that if stem cells are effective, they'll have to be administered more than once. They'll have to be administered with some regularity for as long as someone has the disease. So we're doing these studies to look at what multiple injections do in humans. But we have animal studies that we always do beforehand that tries to give us an idea of what to anticipate in the human. In Alzheimer's disease, there are mouse models 
mice that have been genetically manipulated so that they have the same pathology in their brains of peop that people have if they have Alzheimer's disease. They also have behavioral changes. Older mice that have these pathological changes aren't able to go through the maze or find the cheese as easily as mice that don't have these pathological changes. So those experiments give us an idea of what to anticipate if we treat humans. So we've treated mice with multiple injections and we found no problem. So we're hopeful that humans will also be able to tolerate this and hopefully we'll see improvement.